here we are with the uh, Pure Flow Sleep Type Baby Bed. Um, it's very, I don't want to say similar to the Sleepy Head, because I do feel like they are different products, but uh, they're obviously the same Nest type um, market. So this one very boldly says safe for overnight sleep, and we'll look into why that is so in a second. Zero to eight months, so that's comparable with the Sleepy Head product, fully breathable base and sides. Again, just like the Sleepy Head, made from sustainably sourced filling. Okay, fine, we're happy with all this. Uh, I think it's Dupont Serono, that's the uh, material. Um, packaging is, is reasonable. I'd probably give the Sleepy Head uh, just slightly higher marks. Handle here, let's get into the here. Here we are, a zip, and just some details on the back. Breathable mesh sides, breathable mesh base, sturdy sides, and uh, what they're made of, a solid removable base, and fully washable cover, and then a few bits that you can uh, familiarize yourself with. Okay, here's our pod. Uh, I do notice the immediately the difference in the construction. Uh, the sleepy head's like a cushion. The pure flow that really feels um, like it's never going to change shape. It feels like me memory foam. That's what's it going through in my mind. It feels like a memory foam bumper. And here we are. Here's that breathable mesh they spoke of. Uh, that's a little bit hard to the touch. If I was to rub that for a long time, I could really feel that on my skin. Um, it's nowhere near as soft as uh, as this material. And here's the mesh base they talk of. I can immediately feel that this mattress is much thinner than the sleepy head. And notice that there is no uh, buckle opening at the end here. This is just solid. So let's just flip this over. Yeah, it's a very different, very thin mattress. Um, it's, it's so significantly different um, you'll you'll probably gravitate immediately to one or the other. This one is very thin and just very firm. And that, for me, the softy, comfy one is the sleepy head. This one feels far more kind of functional. Um, there's no place to put on toy arches or toy sets. There's no immediately obvious carry handles. Um, this is sort of a put it in place and leave it type of product. There is a handle there on the underside, but that is not accessible easily. So I think in here, they speak about a removable mattress. Uh, I guess I can't obviously see how to get that out. Um, so I can't see it making any difference whether you take it in or out, because it's just so thin and so solid. So let's place that back down. Um, but yeah, it looks and feels relatively nice. I'm not, I think that's a little hard to the touch and I think the mattress is very, very firm. You've got no options for uh, toy arch or toy sets. Um, I know there's, there is removable covers, so you, you can get that element. So the price justification, 120 for this, 130 for the sleepy head, you can immediately see the differences, the toy arch, the uh, extending the life of it. Uh, the slightly better positioned carry handle on the sleepy head. Um, yeah, the, the, the price seems justified.